Restoring memories and creating bold monochrome images is our topic today on Limit Our Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Now, I love this topic that we're going to be working on today. Um, at Christmas time, I took some of my old family's photos, scanned them, and then applied what I'm about to show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this was the image of my parents. I scanned it. There's that yellow tint to it. I mean, it's old. It's 1949. Ooh, look at that. That's what I did to create this image. Let me show you how I did this, all right? So here's the original image that I scanned. And the first thing I want to do is I do want to strip it of the color. So I'm going to come to the black and white tool, convert to black and white. And already it's looking good, but I know there's that yellow tint. Look, you can see it in the luminous value. So I'm going to take that all the way down. Now, I know there isn't uh, reds and different colors here, but just to show you, I can come in and take the luminance value and just bring that down to, to minus 100. And look, look at the difference already. Now, that's part one. Already, it's looking really good. This is what we needed to do to complete the next step. And that's under develop. We need to come in and enrich the black tones. Oh, look at that. And my mother's dress. Let's take down the highlights a bit. And for the white tones, play with it. I think right about here looks good. Watch this smart contrast. That's really going to help out. Don't go too much. Right about there. That looks good. I am going to bump the shadows just a touch. Let's look at the difference. Look at that. Look how that brought that image to life. And then from here, of course, I can either use structure because it's human aware, or I can come down here to details. I'm going to choose details and just slightly increase them, not too much because I don't want it to get that gritty type look. Now, I do love this image altogether. However, I do know that there's noise in the image. And sure enough, look at this. It found it. Middle, let's select on it. And then we're going to apply noiseless AI and a combination of all of these together. Look at this. Before, after, it just makes it look amazing. Love it. All right. So that's how we did it. But I had to use the black and white tool first because that right there helped strip it of that yellow tint. And then I was able to apply the other tools and go from there. Try it like this. Also, don't forget, you could also try uh, the mood tool to introduce a little more color to it with LUTs. Dial it back in, dial it back out, or even try um, the color tool. There are so many ways to make these images look the greatest. I did this and then printed it on metallic paper. That made these black and whites look like the originals crisp. And then I gave it, of course, to my family for Christmas. All right, guys. Now, if you don't have Luminar Neo, now is a great time to do it. Use that QR code link right there. You'll get a discount using that link. And also, if you already have Luminar Neo, you can still use the, the discount Vanelli 10, I believe it is, to get 10% off of future um, subscriptions or products. Check it out there. All right. Now, if you're here with the Zoom session, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything Else or Ask Me Anything questions. For everyone else, thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you at the next coffee break.